Hold on, I'm going to screen share this real quick. Smokey dropped the video about Mark Mark. I guess they got to him after my live, so hold on. All right, share audio. I'm going to share Smokey's video. Hold on one second. Uh, original week apology. Hold on. And then let me go ahead and say this is his original apology before he got to speak to me and had makeup mobster and Tiffany listening in. So I want everyone to pay close attention to that. This is going to be a forced apology from this dude. And this is Mark. Mark. And started um, doing some trolling, so I made up the the last one I made up was the makeup mobster high horse account, and that was on. The, Can't hear it. That's the only account that I've ever used to troll is the Vern Plumley account. I've just changed it from that to the high effect, and the reason that I didn't come out was. Because I didn't want my first, I, would, I didn't want my name out there um, when I put, you know, when I made the video owning up that those were my first and last name. Uh, but uh, what, what really is the fact that I took a lot of people's kindness kind of for granted, a lot of people that really thought in my innocent um, being, and um, you know, that's the people that I will apologize also. On top of the one to make a monster for um, trolling. This is before he knew that you could log into your account on Gmail and see IP addresses. He was blown away that there was that proof just because he doesn't have screenshots from Discord. This was the apology video that they said that he made before. He spoke to me. This was during the day. That night, he spoke to me. So I want everyone to make sure they understand that. He thought there was no way that anyone would ever believe it. Because make a mobster, they want to try to say that that's a video that he must have done today. That's not a video that he did today. We've all heard the live where Smokey said, um, he, he, he's going to, and uh, Marsha White Shark even said, he's going to do an apology video. We told him to do an apology video. He did that. Sent it to his friends to review. And then that night was the night I spoke to him on the phone. And I let him talk and talk and talk until we got to the point of IP addresses. And that's where he was like, I don't even need to come panel up, I don't need to tell my story anymore because there's the proof I need. Without screenshots or anything else, there's irrefutable evidence and he no longer feels like he needs to talk to anybody about it because he's right. If somebody wants to take it legal for him giving access to an account that people have used, then he's going to be vindicated. With that being said, I'm going to mute myself now, and I'm going to play the recording. Uh, uh, you know, effect on your situation, because I'm sure some things in the show that you want, would like to know, like as far as troll accounts, or, you know, because I'm sure you've got your, your 911 call information down, and um, that's great. I just, you know, I just didn't know if you were, you had any more or, you know, concerns as far as who else was involved, because that, that would probably happen way before I was on the scene. Yeah, you know, I can only go back so far. And it's not that I'm trying to withhold any information or anything. I just want to let you know that post post time, um, because you know, like I said we can talk about this all day. Um, this one we're going back years and years, and, uh, and you know, now that I've seen from the chat, I mean, some of this stuff I had no idea what they're talking about. They're talking about some T-shirt thing, a scandal, and um, I'm just like, wow, you know, like, this is more than I. You know, yeah, I'm which was all okay. Which all of that. Back in January, I sent to Honey Boner some um, three news articles about my exes. I mean, that's clear today. The fact of the matter is that we're still, oh, I mean, I don't know if I can say that Boner check around, but 
So that's why I was trying to figure out why you were trolling as Mandy's t-shirt maker. Right. See what I mean? Like, you know, like, that's how I'm telling you how far this post is going to back. It's from, it's Vern Plumley. Right. The name of that was changed to, so did you make the name changes to these, or did you share that account with someone else? No, I shared that, I shared that account information. It's from, it's Vern Plumley. Right. The name of that was changed to, so did you make the name changes to these, or did you share that account with someone else? No, I shared that, I shared that account information. Right, right. Now, who did you share it with? I just put it in the Discord, you know, have you noticed when I was up on town, every time I come to Discord, I come to Discord. Because, uh, I mean, they already knew that they already, they contacted me before. Did you watch the video that Kimmy P has up from Discord from the other night when they were talking to yeah, you? Yeah, I saw, yeah, I saw. Is that your Discord name? Is that you typing? That is mine. Yeah, that is mine. So uh, that is you typing and admitting that you were white lightning and all of that? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, of course, yeah, but, but the white lightning guy didn't do much. I mean, he was a former criminal troll. You know? mm-hmm. and like I said, that's, you know, that's fine. I mean, no one doesn't troll. Uh, but I just been out. I was, of course, in a such a troll, which makes sense why I was caught. I wasn't sure, you know, I wasn't very good troll with that. So why I left it this long is another question, another mystery you have to worry about. You know, it's, it's crazy. But I think, you know, the, the fact of the matter is that there's just no possible way so when you came on my panel, we just want to make sure I'm understanding this right. When you came on my panel, you went into Discord and you dropped the login and the password to make it Mobster's High Horse. Yes, it's all the same accounts, burn, it's all the same, never changed it. The problem is that I know it's linked to my account. And that's where I screwed up. And, you know, what are you going to do? What do you think they're going to help me? No, I'm going to tell them who it And that's what they did. And unfortunately, I told you, know, I'm not going to take some extent to the grave that I know. Unfortunately, they think that it's all just me. They can think that all they want. You know, so, know that more, just, 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 just to get this correct, okay. So, <clears throat> yeah. you don't know which one of them took the information, logged into that that's YouTube that's account. That's the thing. I, I can't prove it. That's the thing. It drives me crazy. I mean, like, I've seriously thought. Did they think know, that Makeup Monster's thing. information was just so out there that nobody would believe it? And, like, you, like, y'all wouldn't, y'all wouldn't get caught. Because at this point, we can say it's a y'all because it's collective since you dropped your login and password to that account in Discord. Right. So at this point. You know, I don't know what. And, and I was so new to Discord, I mean, it, I didn't know what the hell I was doing at the time. They were telling me, go here, come here. I, I didn't know how to work the damn thing. But I thought I was on the because they knew what I was trolling. And I, you know, and, you know that I didn't like the same people that they did at the time. And I felt like that's all that they do on that side in Discord. I and mean, that's really all they do is talk about you guys. And this was a, this is Kimmy Key's Discord, right? The one that I used to be in. <laughs> yeah, yeah, wow. Like I said, I, I wish I would have taken more, you know. But like I said, at the time, it wasn't my wasn't my agenda. And like I said, I had no no end game to go out and make a monster. I get nothing out of it. I mean, the, the, these guys are the ones that hate this lady. These are the reason why these high horse accounts start happening. It was because they they fell out with her. Mm-hmm. It's way bigger than me. It's, it's more with Marianne and it's like a bunch of it's me. That's all they talk about. And the one I watch, I, I listen to it. They're talking, they're almost like, this is about me. And they're, they're talking about other people. I mean, the people are calling me out way more than, than what I've caused. I'm only added, I mean, you're a, a bow to the damn thing. Yeah, because it was about to blow anyway. There's so much shit going on in this fucking YouTube thing that nobody can keep down on that thing. Sounding like a little 
bit more personal than just people telling you to troll yeah, it, you know? No, that's there. That's there agenda over there is what I'm saying. That's, that's why I fed in on We see this thing. We're just different opinions than what she sees. Now. She's coming more. I mean, if you look at how she was before, how she's become, you know, it's different. I mean, look at all the people that, uh, you know, I mean, a lot of people are lost friends with some beauty, and I think it's just her. Mm-hmm. But I can I can see why some people that you know like Marianne think that she's changed, but I've gone through the same shit that Marianne's doing to Makeup Monster since April. I mean, when Laura and them were threatening me and they were all coming at me hard when Marianne was the Patreon mole, Laura straight up threatened me in a Facebook message and she was like I'm going to keep blaming you and we're going to keep coming for you until you bring me the rap and I texted Marianne and I was like I'm just going to go ahead and tell them that you gave me the link and you're due over and thriver and then she started threatening me and you know like a week and a half went by and I finally went to Laura and I was like look I can't take all this trolling that your people are doing because you think that I shared that Patreon link and, you know, therefore, all of your Patreons got doxxed. It was Marianne. And then she went along, you know, she said that I made it up, yada, yada, yada. And this is in April. June comes around, and she's happy as a lark, you know, bragging to everybody that she was do over and thriver and how funny it was. But she drugged me for months and months and months. Way beyond things. Calm people's houses. Calm places. Putting people's, uh, you know, children's names out there and making false profiles with their names and trolling. I mean, that's, that's I cannot take that back. It's one. And then the end, then I can come out, you know, with, with, if I have to, you know, if it has to go to civil with it, then I'll have to, you know, give up as much as I can to try to you know, provide my energy on my behalf. Yeah, I'm seeing uh, a lot of the people. I exactly well, I, I do want to tell you, a lot of the people that were trolling Marianne. This was because of her fight with Laura, and that was people like Mandy Lynn, Mommy of Three Girls, Potty Mouth Mama, because they were all pissy with Marianne, because she was, you know, friends with Ben. Yeah, and they're all in the discord. So was that the, hold on, I'm going to, I need to ask this. Was when you came on my panel the very first time that you dropped your login and password to that account, or had you done it before? And you were just re-dropping it because they didn't save it or something? Like, what? Because I do remember Mandy's t-shirt maker going into Laura's and taking, you know, saying, yeah, I'm the one that called CPS. And then Ash274 came in and said, that's Mandy trolling as Mandy's t-shirt maker. She's trolling herself. Yeah. It was like, because they have, like, a little troll down there. You know, they have little troll names that they go and don't think people can borrow trolls, troll accounts. Glitter bomb, which was Kimmy C. I was like, what the hell? You know, like, okay, whatever. Even whatever. You know, okay. Do you you see what I'm getting at? I mean, it's hard to explain Uh, a couple of weeks being three or four minutes. It's not really that hard to explain because I'll tell you why. This is the kind of stuff that. Laura's ex Patreons, Mandy Lynn, Mommy of Three Girls, Clary T, Potty Mouth Mama. This is the kind of stuff that they did in Facebook group chats with each other when they were Patreons for Laura. They all had troll accounts that they each, you know, had access to and, you know, would change names of them. And so it's not too far from the stretch of the imagination. Right. No, no, no. You're right. You're right. But I mean, like, as far as suspicion, you're right. No. I'm just meaning as far as me showing solid proof, like, the proof they have against me is pretty solid. But, like I said, a lot of people are questioning things, and they should. They're smart. I'm really glad they caught on to it. Because a lot of stuff that the troll was taking and taking credit for, I had no way of knowing. You know, and there's other trolls out there that are all on So were they, the using, you know, were they using your account to take credit for these things? Because you had shared your login and password to that account with them prior to my live stream the other day. Yeah. If there's no other way that I could have been on your channel. Not I'm not talking about just my panel because the night that CPS was at Laura's and it was on the live stream and she was away from her computer, yeah. Mandy's t-shirt maker right. was taking credit for calling CPS. Was that you typing that? 
Or was that someone else? No, it was not me. If it was, you know. So they had access to your account prior to my live stream the other night? Oh, yeah. Okay. So does it make sense now? You know how, I mean, because this is, look, I, I made a bullshit line. I, know, I can't believe it got through that I used voice chat. How in the hell could I use voice chat? Now people were saying, well, he had it saved already. He just clipped in it. I was on a, I was on my laptop through my, you know, through my wake up. You know, that's how I got it through the line. My people are going to say I use my phone. But that's, you know, that's how I had to use a voice chat. I mean, well, how would the way can I say that I could look straight and, and type? And yeah. so I had to say, well, I'll say I'll use voice chat. And like, ah, uh, you know, I don't think they're going to talk. And like, you know, like, what? So that was an idea that they were using to say, well, we're just going to say that you did voice to text for that. And that way none of us are caught. Did you not hear about a Discord phone call? Yeah. Is that what that ever brought up? Okay, well, it can be hard to prove that. But that I mean, it didn't happen. So did you say just say I used text to chat or did they say, we'll just say you used text to chat? Right, which which is crazy because I would have to have muted myself and you have to see my lips move. Right. Or I have to bend down out of my face to do that. So uh, they wanted to use that and you said, no, that doesn't make sense. Or was it you saying that and they right. told you, no, that won't make sense? <laughs> right on which yeah. one? I'm sorry? Right on which one? Did you say, just say that I use... Oh, you said voice to chat or did they yeah. say did you say no I, that was my suggestion because I mean I was screwed they said what did you use I said my laptop I said well you got your phone They're gonna oh phone. okay because so many other people were involved in the voice chat that weren't in the private like the other like the private chat that y'all were in oh so you didn't want to out them to like Marsha White Sharky and all those kind of people right Okay, so okay. It's so big, you know. Right. So so y'all had y'all had y'all's own little group, right, inside of Discord. And then there was another you know, there's other chats and stuff inside this Discord, right? Okay. So y'all were just in your little group making, you know, this ha he he let's troll. But then when it came to the voice yeah. chat, you didn't want to throw your friends under the bus. No. Okay. I mean, you know, those were all the people that I have for the community. You know, now I'm, I'm got a really YouTube person. But, uh, you know, that's, yeah, that was me and my support group. And um, I guess I felt like I was a catalyst, you know, or like a scapegoat, you know, I felt like. And then I hear that you went through some hard things, so I'm like, well, you know, at least Mandy's, you know, I'm not the only one. Mandy come through some things, too. And, uh, you know, they just don't, they don't, I don't know why they have such a deep hatred for you over there. I mean, I, the, you seem like a nice Lady, you know, I don't know what the hell you did that caused your call either, as well as Marianne's. You know, I just, you know, this is, uh, but then, you know, when I see like this smear campaign is not ceasing, and I'm being, I'm being out of the more thing than I, than I really did, I just felt like uh, I had to come out and speak my piece to somebody. I just thought that you were, you know, a, a more lesser known channel and didn't really feel like you would get much, uh, uh, you know, scrutiny for it. Yeah. I was going to go to Laura with it. I was going to go to Laura with it. I actually did email her. I don't see that. I don't. I email back. Uh, but that's how serious I'm about this. You know, uh, like I said, I apologize for anything that you know, you kind of can use to cause anybody other than you. Uh, well, like I, I said, about, about the only way that they can be right. held accountable for their role that they've played in this as well, where you're not the, you know, this psycho person that acted alone and they had no clue is if you can remember any of their troll accounts and, you know. It all started after the one hour started the original and then you started seeing these other ones come around. But I know it's like a stable that they have a troll account that people are able to switch out of. What about like Makeup Monsters God Complex or Timberman or Jeremy Honeybutt, Mini Me, Tiffany Marie's Dragons? Tiffany Marie's Dragons. They talked about Tiffany Marie a lot, a lot, a lot. So, yeah. I get it. Yeah. You guys are very warm. 
you know, if you're looking over there in that way, I'm just saying, it's just hard to out them, you know, I, I, I want, I wish I knew more, because like I said, I only was in there a week, I hardly knew what the hell I was doing in there, I wish I could have. So if you were only in there a week, how did they have your login and password the night that CBS was called on Laura? That was like November 19th or something, or November 9th. No, like actually active in the Discord, like going and, and you know, con- actually typing everything, like how, like how they showed it. You know, I was, I was in the Discord, well, I just didn't, I, I didn't participate in it. Oh, okay, so you're yeah. saying you weren't really active until the past week, yeah. but you were in there to drop your troll yeah. account for a free-for-all, basically. See, the problem, the problem is with Discord is what I found out is, little by little, like, they have to give you access to these rooms. Right. So when I was given Discord, I was only allowed to watch home. And they said, be careful what you put here, because anybody can see. Oh, okay, so it was the, okay. like, general public chat? Yeah, I know. Yeah, I and mean, you know, it sucks. I, feel, I don't want you to think I'm hiding anything. Like, I, I really do not know what Discord is. I really don't. I don't know why I was given an invitation. I feel like I put screw me in there. Now it's been used against me. So what but, room did you uh, drop yeah. your login and password to your troll account in? What was the chat called? There's only a couple of rooms, so there's like some PTSD rooms, so it has to be either that one or like the more general room. There's only a couple of PTSD rooms. PTSD. I'm not sure you saw the first one. In the in the in these PTSD. PTSD. Right, so there's one for you in there, and obviously there's one for, um, for uh, CAC mm-hmm. uh, as well. It's, you know, it's not the thing. It's like, there's so many conversations that pop up as notifications through the Discord. I just click on those notifications and everything's fine. You know, it may backfire on me because, you know, I don't think you did anything wrong with Kenny. She never really said anything. So who all was in the, who all was in the ring that you dropped your login and password to? Like, let's go through. Who all was in the, who all was in the ring? That you dropped your login and password to. Like, let's go through there. So it'd be oh, Kimmy P. Wow. G- was it it's Gypsy Rhiannon, Sandra? Oh yeah. Kimmy C. There's, there's, yeah, there's a the person. There's oh, there's so many people in there that could have gotten it. There's, there's oh my god. I mean, nobody's gonna fess up to it because they're gonna go, "Oh, it was Mark. It was Mark. Of course it was." Mark. Was yeah. Clary in yeah. Kimmy P.'s Discord? She used to be, from what I understand. She used to be. But she's not um, anymore. She hasn't been active. She hasn't. Oh, been she hasn't been active, but she's still in the she's Discord. Not. From what I understand, from what I understand, I could be wrong, but uh, I did hear a rumor that she was kicked out for, for, for multiple screenshots she was posted. Now, I heard this from an alternative source that I was not told this in, in her Discord, but I was told this from an, out, an ulterior source that that uh, Claire is no longer in the Discord due to multiple kick. Uh, screenshots. Now, I don't have any proof of that, but that's, of course, that will have a curly way before I was involved. Mm-hmm. But, like I said, I didn't see her anywhere in the Discord, so I had no uh, suspicion of her being active. All right, that's what I meant. Were you, um, that up. was Leah in there? Leah, Leanne? L e i g h a Leah, was she in that Discord? I've seen that name. I've seen it. L e i g h n. Yeah. I'm really sure how to pronounce that. Leah. Leah. Okay. Leah. Yeah. Uh, They're all in there. I want to say there's at least total like 50 people, but uh, but the people that are really are really trustworthy are only allowed a couple of rooms, like the PTSD rooms, many PTSD rooms. Were you in those? Yeah. Okay. They allowed you those for a short time. For because week, because you gave them your troll account. So you right. got... Yeah. Okay. So they saw me as more, they saw me more as uh, a little more trustworthy. And, uh, and they had a little insurance in their back pocket between me. Mm-hmm. That was an insurance policy. Basically. Mm-hmm. And the only reason I got to make public is because we kind of suffered through the... Uh, uh, Recovery. Uh, uh, right. yeah, I, uh, yeah, I don't want to go too. No, no, I don't. I don't want to know about either of y'all's recovery. That's not. That's too personal. Yeah. So yeah, we kind of just clicked on that, you know. So we kind of, you know, uh, so we touched the base a bit, you know, better than than other people did. 
Like I said, I feel like I wasn't only allowed to in there for, you know, the how I look and stuff. They, you know, they were, yeah. Yeah, Ash274 had a man had a crush on you because she was like, oh, he's really right. good looking. Right. Yeah, okay. You okay. can push to the verge of whatever. Right. In this case, it's almost a, a bullying tactic. And that's, that's really sad that right. you and Mandy Lynn, you know, share a recovery story that's so, you know, close to each other that she knows what can cause someone to relapse and being blamed yeah. for all of this stuff as if, you know, they had no clue, It that's very, that's hurtful to you because you assume they were your friends. Oh, yeah. yeah. yeah and, and not to say that Mandy's the only one, cause like I said, Mandy's getting the, the shit in her stick right now as well. I'm not, not going to say that she hasn't had trouble going around mocking her recovery as well. So I can, I can yeah, have a her. I have a little bit more leaning for her. I'm currently mad about Mandy. She has a lot on her plate right now. That's the one that I really don't want anything to happen to. As, as, as much as she's done you know, far happens, more be. things than what you need to be aware of. Yeah, I understand that, yeah, but when somebody has a little baby, you know, I, that's what I worry about. You know, I, I do the same thing in Mega but nothing, nowhere, nothing, nowhere, near anything about sending anything or anybody to her house. Mm, I mean, that's not that's I'm not gonna happen. happen. No, no, nobody wants to go to jail over YouTube stuff. Right, that's, right. that's that side of that's that discord that you're in. Those are the kind of people that do that kind of shit. Us regular people outside of that, we don't do that shit. You know, like with, with the thing about Mandy Lynn is like, you know, she's the one that says she essentially kicked you and banned you from Kimiki server. She doesn't want anything to do with you. She's the one that's actually, you know, holding the torch to blame everything on you. And so that's where I'm just kind of like, well, so was she the one that, like, suggested, hey, you have a troll account. We talked about it. Why don't don't I send you the link or why don't I, you know, change your role and let you come into these PTSD rooms and drop your troll account login and password so we can troll with it? Right. Wow. It wouldn't be, you know, yeah, it's crazy. But like I said, since you have had previous run-ins with her as well, and like you said. All I did was try to help her with the slow word stuff and make videos and everything else got blamed on me. She sounds like, yeah, she sounds like she's lied more than that. I mean, I think Laura has come by her about it and uh, she, you know, told the same thing that something about the slow burn account. And I remember that account now. I think it was, but nobody really showed their face. No. So nobody really, it was hard to prove, you know, trolls don't really come up. That's the thing. Right. Trolls never come up. Exactly. I don't mean to say this to be rude, but I kind of feel like there's stuff that you want to tell me, but something is holding you back. And I can tell you from, like, who want, who wanted you to give them your login information for your troll account? You know, who was doing a lot of the bad trolling, like, you know, trying to frame people for things under your troll account? Right, right. Yeah, see, if I knew that as well, I would be in the books, no. So you, ju- you just can't pin it down to exactly... Who right. logged in to your YouTube account? But you know that you dropped it in there with specific oh, yeah. people. But right. then, like, so Marsha White Sharky was she in the PTSD rooms too, or was she just in general? In general, yeah, Marsha doesn't really do much discord. Yeah, she's a little, she's a little older lady, right? No, like, so that's for more mid twenties, thirty, early thirties. So, well, that's what I'm saying because I know they said that Diane and Wendy were on this. Discord voice chat, and Marsha said she was no, on it too. Went, went. Okay, and then Kiki, Kiki was in it too. So was Kiki not in the PTSD rooms? She was. Oh, wow! So she knew that you. So she knew you dropped your YouTube login and password, and that any one of her little friends, including herself. Could have picked up your your account and done it herself, but she's claiming like she has no idea, 
and she doesn't want any more part of this anymore and you know they were just all oh, so dumbfounded yeah. they're going to be oblivious to it I mean they're going to they got to wash their hands you know? but I, I thought personally Kiki has done something to you because I don't do that but never she can't ever that's what I thought initially that you have maybe a, a, a running with Kiki that may have given her an incentive nope you know? but that's I don't see that but like I said, there's a lot of people who were on that call that just weren't talking. They were just listening. You know, you just mute yourself. Oh, that's fine. I'm not going to be able to do it. So, so they really covered their, their P's and Q's. Well, you know, almost you know, almost all of the high horses were in 180's chat last night. And then some other really? troll accounts showed up. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that dude, that dude is known for being a troll. I'm not, I'm not too sure which trolls he uses, but I mean, he has trolls that actually come in your chat room and say, 180 cents. Now, is that some guy taking credit for her, uh, uh, being 180's troll? We don't know. But you know, a lot of people have had similar issues with this guy. Uh, it just sounds like he's almost Is like he a, in uh, Kimmy He's Discord? He was on the call. I don't know if he, if he can be added. Well, yeah, no, you, sure. have you have to be in the Discord. You have to be in the Discord. He did come off the call. He told me, dude, you need to shut up. He told me, dude, you need you a buddy. That's your problem, dude. You need to get you a buddy. I don't know what the hell he meant. Yeah, this guy is, I don't know. Um, this guy is just known. I mean, that's all he does is for And he's talking like he's a master troll. Uh... You know, and, and so the this big. but this so this voice chat happened in Kimmy P's Discord, right? Like you weren't in were you in Stanton Browns? Oh, no. no, 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 this was Kimmy. This the okay. only one I was in. Oh, okay. Kimmy, the only one. Okay. Yeah, I don't know anybody else at this where I wasn't allowed in it. So when Amy was basically know. like telling you to keep your mouth shut, like don't roll on his girls. Yeah, I wanted to. I wish I could have recorded that conversation with Eddie because, oh man. Oh man. Oh, yeah, I mean, yeah, like I said, I just, I just want, I, I, you know, I really, I, it's hard for me to say I want you guys to be careful because I don't think something is wrong. But, you know, I do want you guys to really be careful. And, you know, they, they saw me as a, a person that could take a fall, and, you know, if the cops were coming out, I don't really have much, not much to, to sacrifice. You know, other than my career, of course, but. They don't care about that. I mean, they they really don't care about people's privacy at all. Uh, you know, like they've gone to great lengths to you know divert the situation over to me. So it just wants me. On the, you know, I want. I would like to know what more have they done. Um, you know, I really would like to know. I just, I mean, I really like the help. I mean, hey, so I mean? so I do want to ask you, like, how. Yeah. How many times did you log back into your own troll account to the, you know, Vern Clem when you make up monster one? Like after yeah. you gave them access to it, apparently since right. sometime in November, how often did you right. actually get in there and do anything with that account? Like as far as making most comments, of troll, most of the trolling that I did personally was white lightning and Vern Clem. That was mostly. Mm-hmm. What I took, you know, I was in personally. I would go and that was my thing. This whole kick glitter thing. I wasn't really sure for the whole glitter thing. I don't even know what that came Did you from. even know that they changed the names on your on your troll account? Did you even know that that happened until after it happened? No. No, because once you have the login, you can go and do what you want. Right, so it's but not like... you are stuck with that name. Yeah. I think you are stuck with that change for... So, so once it was changed to Mandy's T-shirt maker, how often did you get in under that account and actually use it from that point on? I've never. Yeah, Mandy, the only one I would go to Mandy's T-shirt maker to see if I would have any new subscribers. Mm-hmm. Now that I noticed, so you, but you didn't do, on. but you didn't do any yeah. trolling on it after they changed the name to Mandy's T-shirt maker. Huh. No, no, no. That's why, yeah, that's another reason why I wanted, I wanted to say my piece was because I'm not going to take credit for everything, guys. You know, I don't take credit for making the account. But, you know, you guys have to, you know, I'll bring some of you down with me. I'll try anyway. But, you know, what's good that going to be? You know, they're going to, 
people have been mm-hmm. out and told and they're accepted back. Right, right. It just depends on how much you're like. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Oh, near anything about sending anything or anybody to her house to do anything to her. Mm. I mean, that's not that's I'm not going to happen. No, no, nobody wants to go to jail over YouTube stuff. Right, that's, right. That's that side. Of, that's that discord that you're in. Those are the kind of people that do that kind of shit. Us regular people outside of that, we don't do that shit. You know, like, with, with the thing about Mandy Lynn is, like, you know, she's the one that says she essentially kicked you and banned you from Kimmy T's server. She doesn't want anything to do with you. She's the one that's actually, you know, holding the torch to blame everything on you. And so that's where I'm just kind of like, well, so was she the one that, like, suggested, hey, you have a troll account. We talked about it. Why don't Why don't I send you the link, or why don't I, you know, change your role and let you come into these PTSD rooms and drop your troll account login and password so we can troll with it? Right. Wow. Yeah, it wouldn't be, you know, yeah, it's crazy. But like I said, since you have had previous run-ins with her as well, and like you said. I All I did was try to help her with the slow word stuff and make videos and... Right. Everything else she got blamed on me. She sounds like, yeah, she sounds like she's lied more than that. I mean, yeah. I think Laura has come by her about it. And uh, she, you know, told the same thing that something about the slow burn account. And I remember that account now. I, I think it was, but nobody really showed their face. No. So nobody really, it was hard to prove, you know, trolls don't really come up. That's the thing. Right. And trolls never came up. Exactly. I don't mean to say this to be rude, but I kind of feel like, there's stuff that you want to tell me, but something is holding you back. And I can tell you from, like, who want, who wanted you to give them your login information for your troll account? You know, who was doing a lot of the bad trolling, like, you know, trying to frame people for things under your troll account? Right, right. Yeah, see, if I knew that as well, would be in the books, no. So you, ju- you just can't pin it down to exactly who right. logged in to your YouTube right. account, but you know that you dropped it in there with specific oh, yeah. people, but oh. then like, so Marsha White Sharky, was she in the PTSD rooms too, or was she just in general? In general, yeah. Marsha doesn't really do much discourse. Yeah, she's, a little, she's a little older lady. Right. So, well, that's what I'm saying because I know they said that Diane and Wendy were on this Discord voice chat, and Marcia said she was on it too. Okay, and then Kiki, Kiki was in it too. So, was Kiki not in the PTSD rooms? She was. Oh, wow! So she knew. That you, so she knew you dropped your YouTube login and password and that any one of her little friends, including herself, could have picked up your yeah. your account and done it herself. But she's claiming like she has no idea and she doesn't want any more part of this anymore. And, you know, they were just all oh, so dumbfounded. Yeah. They're, they're going to be oblivious to it. I mean, they're going to wash their hands. No, but I, I thought personally Kiki had done something to you because I don't do that. Never, never. That's why I thought initially that you had maybe a, a, a run in with Kiki that may have given her an incentive. Nope. Know. But that's, I don't see that. But, yeah. but like I said, there's a lot of people, a lot of people on that call that just weren't talking. They were just listening. You know, you know just mute yourself. Oh, that's fine. I'm not going to be able to do it. So they really covered their, their P's and Q's. Well, you know, almost yeah. almost all of the high horses were in 180's chat last night. And then some other really? troll accounts showed up. Yeah. Yeah, I and mean, that dude is known for being a I'm not, I'm not too sure which troll he is, but I mean, he has trolls that actually come to your chat room and say 180 sent us. Now, is that some guy taking credit for her? Uh, uh, being 180's troll, we don't know. But you know, a lot of people have had similar issues with this guy. Uh, it just sounds like he's on 
Is he in Kanihi's Discord? He was on the call. I don't know if he, if he can be added. Well, yeah, no, you have, you have to be in the Discord. You have to be in the Discord. He did come off the call. He told me, dude, you can, you can shut up. He told me, dude, you need you a buddy. That's your problem, dude. You didn't get you a buddy. I don't know what the hell he meant. Yeah, this guy is, I don't know. Um, this guy is just known. I mean, that's all he does is for And he's talking about he's a master troll. Uh, you know, and, and so the this days. but this so this voice chat happened in Kimmy P's Discord, right? Like you weren't in were you in Stanton Browns? Oh, no. no, 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 this was Kimmy. This the okay. only one I was in. Oh, okay. Only one. Okay. I don't know anybody else at this where I wasn't allowed in it. So when he was basically know. like telling you to keep your mouth shut, like don't roll on his girls. Yeah, I wanted to. I wish I could have recorded that conversation with Eddie because, oh man. Oh man. Oh, yeah, I mean, uh, like I said, I just, I just want, I, I, you know, I really, I, it's hard for me to say I want you guys to be careful because I don't think something is wrong. But, you know, I do want you guys to really be careful. And, you know, they, they saw me as a, a person that could take a fall and, you know, if the cops were coming out, I don't really have much, not much to, to sacrifice. You know, other than my career, of course, but, they don't care about that. I mean, they they really don't care about people's privacy at all. Uh, you know, like they've gone to great lengths to you know divert the situation over to me. So it just wants me. On the, you know, I want. I would like to know what more have they done. Um, you know, I really would like to know. I just, I mean, I really like the help. I mean, hey, whatever. so so I do want to ask you, like, how. Yeah. How many times did you log back into your own troll account to the, you know, Vern Clem when you make up Monster One? Like, after yeah. you gave them access to it, apparently since right. sometime in November, how often did you actually get in there and do anything with that account? Like, as far as making most comments? Of troll, most of the trolling that I did personally was White Lightning and Vern Clem. That was most of it. Mm -hmm. I took, you know, I was in personally. I would go, and that was my thing. This whole kick glitter thing. I wasn't really sure for the whole glitter thing. I don't even know what that. Did you even know that they changed the names on your on your troll account? Did you even know that that happened until after it happened? No. No, because once you have the login, you can go and do what you want. Right. So it's not like you are stuck with that name. Yeah. I think you are stuck with that change for. So, so once it was changed to Mandy's T-shirt maker, how often did you get in under that account and actually use it? From that point on, I've never. Yeah, Mandy, the only one I would go to Mandy's T-shirt maker to see if I would have any new subscribers. Because mm -hmm. now that I noticed, so you, but you didn't do, on. but you didn't do any yeah. trolling on it after they changed the name to Mandy's T-shirt maker. Huh. No, no, no. That's why, yeah, that's another reason why I wanted, I wanted to say my piece was because I'm not going to take credit for everything, guys. You know, I'll take credit for making the account. But, you know, you guys have to, you know, I'll bring some of you down with me. I'll try in the way. But, you know, what's good that going to be? You know, they're going to, people have been mm -hmm. out told and they're accepted back. Right, right. It just depends on how much you're liked. Yeah. Yeah. Do you, do you know who made it? Mandy's t-shirt maker or Kex Glitter Dick or Makeup Mobster's High Horse? Like, did anybody ever, like, laugh about it and say, oh, I'm the one that made it that name? The one that did, that I did, just kept having a suspicion of being was this Lynn chick. Not, not a man of this other one. Lynn, you mean uh, Leah? She, no. Her last name was Lynn. Jay Lynn, something Lynn, I can't remember. Jennifer Lynn. She just kept, she just kept talking about Keck and this glitter thing. And I'm thinking, hmm, it's because she had made the account. Because she kept saying, it's not me, it's not me. Laura Keck's laying me again. Laura Keck's laying me again. I was like, why do you keep bringing this up? If you're innocent, leave it. Stop talking about it. I'm thinking, I don't know for sure, but I have my suspicion. If it was changed to Keck, glitter, whatever, Mm -hmm. That maybe Lynn would have changed it because that's all she talked about was Right, but so who who changed it to Mandy's T-shirt maker? That could be. Uh, let's see, who would know more about that scandal? Do you know? 
Because that's just the thing. I didn't know much about that. Marianne, uh, Mandy Lynn, Kimmy P, Kimmy C, uh, Ash 274. Oh, wow. So they all know about this. Uh-huh. But it, it's not, there's no validity to it. This whole t-shirt scandal, right? Just no, there's like, not. There's, there's not none at all. Zero. They just do it to piss right. me off. Okay. Okay. So there's no, but, but as far as that t-shirt maker account, nothing other than admitting to that TPS call has been, has been made. Right, but I'm just asking you. You may not have validity, right. yeah. but who changed it to that understand. name? I understand. I understand. I don't care if you have so, proof or not. At this point, I don't believe right. that. Personally, I think it was either Mandy Lynn, Marianne, or Ash274 that changed it. So I just want you to tell me who it was. Yeah, like I said, yeah, because if I knew who it was, believe me, I would have paid a video. So know, it was like, just a free-for-all. Yeah. It was like, here's my login and password. Oh, yeah. I'm done trolling with this, oh, but here's an account y'all can use. Do with it what you wish. And so whomever in that group out of some of the people that I've named were the ones that changed it. They just never told you who changed it. There was never any, you know, hee hee ha, ha I changed it to Mandy's t-shirt maker. Watch this. Like none of that happened. Nobody said that. I wish. I wish. I wish. I don't know. So what caused them to actually boot you, like, during the call? Because Mandy Lynn has said on one of her lives that, you know, when you finally admitted it, that she immediately booted you, but it took them hours to get you to confess to it on this voice call. But you're telling me that during this voice call, like, you were trying hard not to out them to Wendy and people like Marsha. And so at what... What happened to make, what happened for you to get booted? Like, were you fixing to roll on them and they just cut you out of the voice chat and then booted you or what? Yeah, before I could get any proof. Basically, I was like, this is not, this is not, this is way more than I thought was going on. I mean, I said, I was like, well, I was like, I would help you guys told about it. You know, I, oh, uh, so you were the one on the voice chat that said, this is way more than what I knew was going on. See, they said they told you, oh, this is way more than I knew that was going on, and that's what caused you to get booted. Of course. Of course. Mm, okay, okay. <laughs> yeah, so I mean, I'm glad that you're able to remember all this, and, and you're able to help me recoll- recollect, because I had that happen, so I'll like it out the three days ago. Been- Who wrote the comment under Makeup Monsters Community Post? That's that's the one that that was the the one that was that I took credit for. Yeah, but who actually did that? The the one that did the which which one? What kind the dots makeup monster. That that was, that was the yeah. I, I admit it. Yeah. So <clears throat> so you did not. Come, that's what I mean. Somebody so you did. were not in my live. Hold on, you were not in my live as makeup monsters high horse. Because what happened is Makeup Monsters High Horse was in there. And then all of a sudden, Mandy Lynn comes in there and goes, no, that's not Marky Mark. Because that's when Makeup Monster and Tiffany Marie and Ems had come in. And that's kind of how it got brought up about your community post. About not yours, but Makeup Monsters community post. And then people started guessing names of the males in the community. And yours came out. And then Mandy Lynn all of a sudden pops in and goes, it's not Marky Mark. And then all of a sudden you come in and then she tells you to check Discord and I dropped the link and then she told you to check Discord again. So what was she telling you to check Discord for? What did, what did she say in Discord to you? Because she told you to check Discord. This is before you came on the panel. She told you to check Discord. So what did she say in Discord before you came on my panel? He was telling me to check his course in the chat. Yeah. Oh, I was chatting. This was before I came on panel. Mm-hmm. This is right yeah. when you came so in. That. And then that she said, Mark and Mark, check Discord. Because I had to send the login. The login thing. Okay. Special. These logins with the IP address is yours because it'll, you know, it'll say the location. And then you can tell me which ones were yours, and then I can find out 
who the other people were that logged into that account, and that may that will help you to prove that you weren't the one using it. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Exactly. That, that's more than I had to go. And I'm just going to go to 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 Keck and say, hey, as far as the GPS call goes, I don't know when it happened and when it occurred, but you can give me that date and time. I can provide my you know, whatever call records or whatever the case may be, or, or contact my police station to get whatever any kind of call that would make outgoing. Okay. Um, are you in front of your computer right now where you can get all this done? So I can hop off the phone. Like in about, like in about 10, I should be able to be at my laptop. Okay. Okay. So, um, so, like, three days. Cool. so like 1030, I can expect a message from you with the login to the email that you use for that account and the login to the YouTube but what I need you to do when you redo, when you go into Gmail and you reactivate your account, I need you to immediately change the password. All right, and that's where we get into where he gets all of his login information, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, which I'm not going to play on a live because then that would mean every single one of you could access his account. So with that concludes all of this.